Hi ladies, how is everyone today? Good. Great. So I've been through all of your financial numbers and you're all at different areas of your life right now. And so we're gonna set up an action plan for each and every one of you. Can you explain to me what you do right now? Um, I'm a full-time student. And what would you like to accomplish in this financial process? I don't wanna be afraid of money anymore. I feel like in this society, you're constantly borrowing money to pay it back. And I feel like it's set up that way so that people will be constantly living in a cycle and I don't wanna live that way. My financial best was probably about two years ago. Okay. Um, my second year in university, yeah. I was volunteering at CTV and I was mm -hmm. in school so I had no time to really do anything but school and volunteering um, and I had a credit card that was max, I think it was like $600. Yeah. So now if there's one person who you think is a financial superstar, you respect their character, who would that be? My mom. She's always been smart with her money. She was able to purchase me a condo for university as a reward and I mean that was an amazing. She helped my sister get her first car. She helped me get my first car. It's just, it's amazing. And I mean, she doesn't really do for herself. She's so smart financially that it just, I feel like I should just sit there and listen to her and take in everything she says. Right now, if you, so you're your mom, you've taken on the financial characteristics of your mom, and you've gone and you've bought yourself a house. So yeah. how does that make you feel? A, f a sense of accomplishment, even if it doesn't have anything in that house, I would just look around and just realize that I did it. Tell me a little bit about what you do. I'm a systems coordinator for an insurance company during the day, mm -hmm. and I teach pole dance lessons at night. So I feel like superhero by night, nerd by day. I feel like I'm going from paycheck to paycheck right now. I'd like to have enough money to buy a better new motorcycle. A new motorcycle. <laughs> when were you a financial superstar? One to two years ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to make sure that you know my boyfriend at the time was financially secure or that my mom was secure or that my nephews and my niece were, were okay. All I had to worry about was me and that was when I was at my financial best. Who in your life is um, your financial star? Is there um, like my boyfriend, Brad. Okay. He's just, he's so financially disciplined but he still has this life that you know, he's still social with his friends. He's not like a hermit. Like, I feel like I have to, when I'm in financial, you know, uproar or something, I have to just stay at home and never go out, not spend a penny, and he can manage it all. And he's happy. He still has all the things he loves in life. And he's still very social, and he's still very happy with everything. And if you have that discipline that you mentioned, and you mentioned it twice, yeah. this is a good point. So, and you have that financial discipline, you feel it fully and completely. What does that give you? Just... You not even just that satisfaction, it's, it brings a calmness to my life. And when you have that calmness, what does that bring you? Happy. Happiness. It's happiness? <laughs> yeah. When you're happy? It's a sense of pride. Pride, okay. Yeah. Now, Cola, tell me a little bit of what you do. I'm a decorator. Having your own business, you wear all the hats, and it's very hard to make that money day in and day out and have that set paycheck at the end of the month. And uh, I'm married to somebody who has a steady paycheck, mm -hmm. and he thinks I should be the same. So that's always been this little struggle between the two of us where I don't want to do that. I'm an entrepreneur, I want to do my own thing. Okay. So sometimes it's, it's a little bumpy. Yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes. I grew up very frugal and never uh, allowing myself to spend money. So is that something that you want to work on? Absolutely. A little bit, have yeah. some more financial abundance? Or? Absolutely, and freedom to say that it's okay to spend a little bit more on my kids, not even about me. Yeah. There's that guilt too that uh, I don't want to, you know, put my um, frugality on them, even though it's a good lesson, but still there's a fine line. I'll be working with you guys and we're going to put a plan together and thanks a lot for sharing that all with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, hey ladies, I'm really, really excited to be working with you to help you achieve your fitness and nutrition goals. So I wanna make you feel fabulous, okay? So at the end of all of this, we're gonna be looking at how you feel in your own skin and in a fabulous outfit at the end of these 28 days. So let's talk about nutrition first. Three simple little tips. Eat green things, stay away from anything white. Sugar, flour, white rice, it's the devil, okay? <laughs> Sugar is the devil. The last thing is look at ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. Start to feed your bodies properly. 
so that you have the energy to do the workouts that I want you to do. So you ready to do your fit test? Let's go. Get low. Go. So I'm gonna make note of your scores. The next number is what matters. I want you to improve. Here's your membership to your online gym. Okay, Flirty Girl Fitness, live. Okay, I need you to go online and I need you to take these classes. I've also got stretch bands. Here's resistance that you can have in your purse. You'll be using these in your classes at home. Okay, there you go.